Here, can you guys hear us? Hi guys, can you hear us now? Hopefully you can hear us. This is our first time, so please be a little patient with us. Let's see. Yeah, they could hear us now. Yay. Yeah. Thanks guys. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so, so shall we start? We actually did a really cute intro, so I'll do it again for you guys. <laughs> so welcome to the very first Analog Dialogue. This is gonna be um, a time where we share you know, thoughts about our analog ideas and uh, with you in real time. And um, I'm Eunice. I'm Emil. So we hope that you've already had all your drinks and you're ready to now get into the, um, the, our systems with us. Yeah, so we're both gonna be talking about um, our planner setups and we're gonna kind of talk a little bit about them and then also kind of bring you guys closer so that we can show you like the layouts and stuff. Um, we will be having like a Q and A section. Um, I think two Q and A sections actually. Um, so we won't be answering your questions as we are um, going, you know, as we're going along. But if you leave it in the comments, then um, we're going to pick a couple of questions and we can respond to it then. So uh, feel free to drop those um, as they come in. Yep. Um, so I'm going to start with my planner setup, um, and then just kind of like as a quick overview. Um, so I'm using the Yuriliku with the Hobonichi Weeks so cute. here. Um, and then my next one is going to be the TSL original A5 cover on my Nolte PDCA. Mm. Um, and I, I will show you guys closer, so don't worry about it. Um, and then the codex also inside of the TSL original. Um, this one's black. This one's brown. I like these ones a lot. I real I didn't realize you had two. I have two too. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. We have we have like the same taste. We're twinsies. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then my last one is the uh, five year, and I'm keeping actually this in the Furoshiki. Um, I just kind of wrapped it around as a cover. That's really so. cool how you did that. I actually, when you had them here, I didn't know that you like made your own cover. I was like, what cover is this? It's, well, I mean, we have a hard time finding covers for the both the Codex and any of like the thicker yeah, notebooks. That's right. So like the five that's year. A really good idea. Yeah, yeah. So this is kind of nice, um, and you can actually do something like this with A5 too mm. um, if you have a Fudoshiki. Um, anyway, so I'm going to actually bring you guys closer in to talk about my setup. And then, let's see. All right. So let us know if you guys can't see anything or if you're having like a hard time or anything. Um, but this is the one I'm going to start with. So this is, like I said, my Hobonichi Weeks inside of the Yuriliku pouch. This is kind of like my everyday planner, um, just kind of like overall things like my schedule and my um, like to-do lists and stuff. Those are all going to be mostly in here. And then these are mostly like the pens that I have inked up. Usually I have some fountain pens. And then right now I have the Uniball. Uh, shoot, how do I pronounce this one's one? color? Yeah, oh, the Bordeaux. Bord 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 yeah, the yeah. Bord Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Well, yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, and then the um, four function pen, which I am liking a lot. Um, and then I, I have actually, I think I have like right now, I have Uniball, um, Uniball refills for this one, not oh, the I Uniball one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but the, the gel one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that's like what, it a lot. That's why I like that pen because you can actually pack it to fit jet stream refills and gel. You know. Yeah, yeah, and I like that about it a lot too. Um, okay, so let me bring you guys inside of my planner. So my Hobonichi Weeks. I'm sure a lot of y'all are going to be familiar with like the Hobonichi Weeks. Um, so this is kind of like how I have my planner set up here. Let me bring you guys a little bit closer. Ooh, sorry about the earthquake. Um, <laughs> all right. But so this is kind of like vaguely what I have as my planner set up. Like I'm, it's not always this nice. This is just like an so especially cute. nice page, but yeah, any kind of, um, like workshops that I'm doing or any kind of due dates I have in here just as kind of like an overview. Um, and then. I don't know, is this purposely color coordinated or it just happens like? 
it's purposefully color coordinated. Love yes. It. Love um, it. But like the colors aren't like chosen for any significant reason. Uh -huh. It's more just like, I feel like green. So this is like, right, right. So this one ends up being green. Um, yeah. But like I said, every, every month is not always that neat. So um, yeah. And then my weekly pages. Um, so this is just kind of like how I have, usually I have like two colors. Uh -huh. um, I don't know if you do the color coordinating, but um, like a main color and then like maybe a darker color um, just so that I have like an easier time, like looking at things right away and being able to find the information I'm looking mm -hmm. for. It actually looks really nice too. And it kind of matches with what you have here, like the colors yeah. you chose. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like this also is not always going to be this nice. And there are some days when I'm like super minimal. Um, so yeah, so for example, this page is very clean and doesn't really have a lot of stickers going on. Usually it has to do too with like how busy I am right. that week. Um, and then sometimes if I'm sick, I'm like not writing in this. At all. Yeah, yeah, I totally <laughs> so, feel you. Yeah, it's nice though to have like negative, you know, some negative space. Yeah, yeah, and I, I just, I don't really sweat too much like how often I'm using my planner. Mostly as long as it's serving me, that that's it's doing what I want right, it to right. do. I mean, that's what it's basically for. Yeah, for. yeah. Um, so, and then at the very back, I have like some blank pages and this is actually where I'm doing a lot of like my pen swatching and um, ink samples and stuff. I really like doing this. Like I do this in like pretty much every day, like average planner mm -hmm. that I have, like, you know, my go-to planner, I always have like these kinds of ink swatches. And then as I'm like switching out um, pen colors or as I am, you know, getting new colors, I will add it here. And it looks really like, you know, pleasing to the eye too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like different on every paper. So I like to go back and reference this too if I'm trying to pick out a color. Right, right. Um, yeah, so yeah. So that is my Hobonichi Weeks. And then like I said, that's in the Yuriliku flat pen case. Um, and I really like this a lot. They fit super I can't perfect. believe that it fits that perfect. Like it was like meant to be. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't. I mean, I actually didn't know we were even going to get these ones. It wasn't until we got it and I had already gotten the Hobonichi Weeks that I was like super shocked. You that. just tested it out and then it fit? Yeah, oh yeah, perfectly. And then I was like, well, I guess I have to get this. I love now. when things like that happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so next up, um, so since that's my main planner, that's the one that I'm in the most, but I do have um, like the... Nolte PDCA. This is my first time using this one. It's an A5 planner. Um, and this I'm using as primarily like a work only notebook. So this one's a little bit, this page is a little bit more decorated, but usually it's just black and white. Um, this is my very not cute um, planner. It's still very cute. This page is especially cute, but um, <laughs> it's not usually like that. It's actually cool to see this uh, planner in up you know, this close in person, because I have seen like the tiny ones. I actually have the tiny one that I got as a gift um, in person, but I've never seen the actual full size one. It's a pretty, you know, cool looking planner. Yeah, and this is a really interesting one because they have multiple, uh, Nolte has multiple um, A5 planners, but this one is specifically the PDCA, which I believe is um, plan, do, check, and action oh that's cool yeah so it's kind of interesting because it has these you know the vertical weekly which i really like mm -hmm. um but then it also has like different sections within it so the plan is supposed to be kind of like in this section and then the do is going to be here where you're actually like doing all the actions uh, here they have like a to-do list checklist too and then the check in action so check is kind of looking over what has been going on within the last week and seeing like how things went, what worked, what didn't. Um, and then action is supposed to be for the next week. So like based on how, what I checked, how am I going to mm. change it? Um, which I thought was really, really interesting, like having that kind of setup. Um, I don't always use it that way, but I do appreciate having the weekly um, and then a bunch of space around it to plan. Um, I was just going to ask you if you actually use each section, you know, dedicated for what it's made for, or you just kind of 
use it as you like to use it? I mostly use it as I use, like to use it. Um, it. It's I use it as like a guide, but I I break the rules all the time and like go on using it for other things. Um, this is also a planner that I'm not I'm not using every week. Um, so like you know here when I had like a deadline, this is kind of where I was like um, breaking down the amount of hours I thought a project would take, and then trying to slot in like when I'm going to be able to do that on my schedule. So I really like having it um, for for that purpose. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, most of these pages are blank because I'm not, I'm not going to this every week. Um, but what I do like about this planner, even when I am not using it um, as often, is that it has a bunch of blank pages in the back, which I really like. And I use them as like project pages. So cool. I have um, all these sketches. In here. Yeah. So it's kind of nice because what I've kind of gotten into the habit of doing is like whenever I'm doing a new project or a new idea, I will kind of put, I don't know, put like an overview of just that and then all the detailed information. So things like, you know, when things are due, when I need to do like check-ins or like the information, like if I need to remember an email or, um, you know, if I have to follow certain guidelines for a project, I'll like write all of those down here. And then I'll reference this like, so even if like, you know, here I happen to be doing the sketches on this page, but even if I'm doing the sketches in a different notebook, I will kind of reference this to make sure that I am like following all the guidelines mm, that are required. Very cool. Yeah, and then my idea behind this, cause I am kind of going through these blank pages pretty well. Um, is that once I run out of the blank um, space, mm -hmm. I'm probably going to get a thinner A5 notebook and then slot it in here mm -hmm. so that it can kind of like continue on and I can not worry about like running out of space. That's a good idea. Yeah. So and I, that's why I actually really love this cover because you know how you already have like a planner inside. Mm -hmm. I feel like the spacing is ample enough where you can actually stick two notebooks in it. And yeah. It's not like really tight. Yeah, for sure. And um, it's interesting because I actually, so like, you know, these are both same cover, just like different colors. Um, and then one has like an A5 that's like a little bit on the thinner side, but then this one has the codex, but they both fit really well. It doesn't feel like awkward in size. Um, it, this one doesn't feel too loose and this one doesn't feel right. too tight or anything. Right. So um, I really like these covers a lot. And I think I just like the minimal, um, aesthetic of it they did such a good yeah, job same, at same. TSL, yeah. yeah we um, actually get a lot of questions on um the codex and how it fits so I'm oh, glad really? that you're sharing it today yeah yeah so this is the codex um uh, inside of the tsl original cover um this is also a5 this one i am using as a like personal thoughts notebook um where i'm kind of like processing a lot of different things and actually i started this one um last year I, I didn't like this wasn't like you know i started it in 2022 i think i started it in 2021 um and then i'm still filling it up because it has so many pages and this one i really only use it when i'm going and like processing something um which is fine by me i have like some notes where i am kind of like going back especially if i have like health related notes mm -hmm. going in mm -hmm. um then i like to go back and revisit those this i'm not going to flip through as much y'all um because it is like very personal um but i do have like some pages tagged so like you know this is kind of like a more fun page where i got these new inks and i was kind of filling those in um oh, I'll just I'll stop you real quick so you know how a lot of people uh or like they always rave about the Tomoe River paper mm -hmm. with fountain pennings, but me personally, I really love this MD paper mm -hmm. with fountain pennings. I feel like it just absorbs the ink very beautifully, mm -hmm. and it's very true to color the inks when you write with it. Yeah, I super agree. And then that's that is one thing that when I because this is my first year using the Hobonichi Weeks, mm -hmm. um, and having the Tomoe River paper, like I mean, it's just. It's so beautiful, but it does take a really long time to dry, yes. which can be very inconvenient since that is my go-to planner. Uh -huh. Like I'm not usually wanting to leave it open for a long time to have it dry. So um, I do really enjoy the MD paper and, um, and like the cream color is so nice. And I always like how um, whatever layout you use, the like, you know, like the dots on these are really light. The lines are usually really light. Um, so it's just super easy to use. And then um, with the codex, we have the tearaway tabs, which has been very 
very, very fun for me um, to just be able to um, tear it away. So and satisfying. yeah, it's really, it's really <laughs> satisfying. And it makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something even when I have I mean, like, look at that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, even so even after starting this last year, like I'm, I'm only like halfway through this. But like I said, that's that's fine with me. Um, this was actually my solution because um, not last year, but the year before I was using the Hobonichi A5 planner mm -hmm. um, and you know that has the daily pages that are um, dated and it just like at first it was suiting me really well mm -hmm. like it was exactly what I needed right. but then like as time went on it like you know my needs changed and it didn't really serve that purpose so I ended up with like a ton of blank space at the end um, which didn't make me feel good about it um, so this time I was like well I still want to have like you know a personal notes journal but um, I went with the codex and I'm, re I'm really glad I did. Um, it doesn't feel pressuring to me to have to like go back and fill every page. Um, some of these pages I like might just have like two lines on it because I was like either like testing the paper yeah, or yeah. like showing some kind of like demonstration to somebody else. Um, so, but it, it's fine with me. Like I don't need this to be like a neat or super beautiful planner because like, you know, I'm showing this to y'all now, but this stays at home. Like I don't ever bring this out with me. Funny though, cause I was just going to ask you if you carry it around cause it's so beautifully it, like, you know, it's so shiny. Yeah, I, I don't. So it's mostly it's at home. Beautifully. Maybe it's just the grease from my tabletop or something. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm very careful about that. But um, yeah, I, it's just it's just a beautiful leather Lovely. cover. Um, yeah. So um, last one for me is going to be the five year um, inside of the uh, BK TSL Furoshiki. Um, so I kind of have it clipped here. So I have it folded over and then clipped. There's actually like bobby pin here, like a bobby pin or like some kind of paper clip here um, that is holding it in place. And then here I have it so that you can see like the little um, tab that it comes with, which is really cute. Um, I found that for this, um, for use when you're using a fudoshiki or any kind of cloth for this purpose, it's better to use something that is a, a little bit stiffer. Um, I've noticed if you try to use like a really soft um, or flexible cloth, um, the cover is more likely to fall off. Oh. Um, but I've been using this cover pretty much since I got this, and this is my this is um, two years in. Um, so this is yeah, this year is the second round of going through this planner, um, and it has been serving me really, really well. And actually this kind of serves as like a pocket too. Oh, that's really so, cute. Yeah, I really like it. Maybe you need to like show us at another time how you did that. That would be cool. Sure. You didn't have to cut anything, right? It's just no. Like, oh, okay. Um, and when I was testing it out, so this one fits. So this is the small version because we have two sizes of the Furoshiki. This is the small one. And I found that the large one fits the A5 perfectly. Oh, wow. Yeah. So um, yeah, but this one is the one that I just happened to use. And I, I really like this color, so. Um, but yeah, going into it, um, I am also not very good at making sure that I am filling in every single day on my five year. So if you are also doing this five year and you are also having a hard time, like I'm in the same boat as you, I just tried my best to keep up. Um, and then I might go back and then like kind of fill it in with either like tapes or decoration, or if I want to just like have like one word or something in there. Um, so this one too, I use just for memory keeping. Um, so this is kind of like what a normal spread will look like right now. So um, using two different inks for the different days. Um, and then I actually have this here. This is like my swatches for a project that I was painting um, on this day in 2021. And it's, I like doing this because, you know, once I put these swatches, I know exactly which painting I was working on. Oh, that's so on. cool. Yeah, and it's it's just nice because I, I mean, you saw my, my weekly, I, I just like swatches in general, uh -huh. but this is also just like a nice way of remembering like, oh yeah, this is what I was doing that day. Such a beautiful like visual memory. Yeah, yeah. Um, most of the time I, am only doing text in this one mm -hmm. like i only do drawing or painting on the side um if i'm feeling especially ambitious mm -hmm. that day but um i don't have that all the time i can show you some pages where i did do that so like this one um i have um a quote from ac's um 
from AC's graphic novel um, that I really enjoyed. Yeah. So like this one is mostly text and this is kind of going to be closer if I do have anything on this side. It's usually text. It's not usually art. Um, but because this is Tomura River paper, you can paint in it. So how do you remember which day is from? Is it corresponding by color of the text? Yeah, wow. it's corresponding by color of the text. So whatever text color I used here is what I use here. So if I had decided like, oh, I want to add something from this day mm -hmm. onto this page, I would use this color so I don't get them like mixed up and I know exactly which That's day such a that good correlates. Idea. Yeah, I'm just a little... It, it, it organizes it in a way that makes me feel good right. about it. And you don't have to write the date again, you know, in this section. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, and then let's see, I think I have one more page. Too. So, okay, so this is an actual ambitious date. And then here that you see, so I did not fill in this, this year's <laughs> date. Um, that's fine. Um, and this was some plants that we got with some pots that day. So you know, sometimes I will do these little drawings because it is Tomoe River paper, like mm -hmm. it does take paint or most media very well um, but I don't really sweat doing this honestly I really when I'm approaching my planners I'm trying my best to not put pressure on myself yes. as much as possible so I know for sure if I were to try to you know try to push myself to be like okay I'm gonna do like a little painting every day here um, which I know some people do and it's like really cute mm -hmm. um, I think it would stress me out more mm -hmm. than I would have fun yes so um, this is something that I just try really hard to like, you know, not push myself to, um, yeah, to go overboard. On so you this. kind of like go with the flow. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, so yeah, that is my planner setup so far for this year. Um, How fun. Yeah. So we're actually kind of gonna stop and do like a Q and gonna go into the Q and A in case you guys have any questions um, so far from the planners that I've been using. Um, and then we're going to go into your system. Mm -hmm. But let's take, we'll just take a couple minutes and then um, we'll kind of go back to the front facing camera. Uh, yeah, so here we go. So going into questions, we have Wakako. Um, <laughs> we have Wakako selecting the questions. <laughs> so, um, Lara says, oh, it's great to put voices to faces. I'm a fan of the channel. Uh, I'm so glad that y'all are joining us today. Um, we really wanted to have this space to be able to um, connect with more people mm -hmm. because, you know, for one thing, we are not open all the time um, because we're mostly a studio and not so much just like a store. Um, but having, I don't know, I guess having a way of connecting with people like in real time, especially um, after these past couple of years right. is, I don't know, it's become a lot more important to me right. um, for right. sure. So yeah, just, yeah. So thank you. Thank you for yeah, thank joining Thank you so us, much, Laura. Laura. All right. Um, and then Journal Girl says, wow, Emil, I love your setup. You're giving me lots of pointers for my setup. Yeah, I'm glad. I feel like when we are open, that's probably like one of my favorite things is being able to talk to other um people about their planner setups and being able to you know you know hopefully respectfully say like you know can i see your planner because I, I know so like some fun. yeah it's so personal but a lot of people are so kind and um do share with us like how they're using it um and it, it's really inspirational everyone uses it in so many different ways right, right. yeah and then so, you kind of pick up little nuggets here and there from like other people's the way yeah. they use it and then you kind of incorporate it into yours yeah, yeah. and i mean you know our, our systems are always evolving. I feel like that's true for everybody where it's like our needs change. Um, so it seeing any kind of ideas where I'm like, oh, this is this might not even be relevant to me now, but maybe I'll use this in the future. Totally. That's like really inspirational. Um, yeah. Is the codex cotton paper or the regular MD? So the codex is the regular MD paper. Um, the cotton, I believe is only in those sketchbook ones. I think that they might have um, a couple other products, but most of them are the MD paper. Um, and the MD paper is the one that we really, really, really enjoy. Love, yeah. I um, love MD paper. Yeah. And the color is just so nice. Like the way the color of the paper mm -hmm. matches up with the ink. And even though it doesn't have like quite the dramatic shading that Tomoya River is known to have, um, I feel like it's 
you can still see like a lot of shading because I, I really like that in an ink. Um, and you can still see a lot of like variation within that mm -hmm. without having to worry too much about like drying time or right. yeah, yeah. things like that. I just love the way it absorbs the ink so quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah me too. All right. And then let's see, do you have, does it have monthly and weekly spreads? I can look it up too. And it's great to know that it fits in the TSL cover. So no, the codex is just like a blank notebook. Mm -hmm. um, I can kind of show you a little bit here, like um, in like one of the blank pages. So it's all just these blank pages. Um, and then you can even see like, there's a very subtle like um, set up here where you can put the date, but it's also so light you can ignore it if you wanted to. Um, but it's all just this. Um, if you were looking for like monthly and weekly spreads, probably maybe pairing this with the um, MD 2022 right. planners That's or, right. you know, for next year, 2023. Uh, I can't believe we're already I thinking know. about next year's planners. We're, we are already talking about what we're going to be are. using next, yeah. uh, next year. <laughs> um, yeah, so this one is just blank. Um, but you, it would definitely go very well if you wanted to pair it with a different um, MD planner, which has the same paper and is very lovely. Um, and then I think like we'll do one more question. Mm -hmm. um, and then let's see, this one says, would the codex book that you are using fit in my A5 Midori goat skin leather cover? No. no, I don't think so. I think it would be too tight. I think even if you were able to somehow squeeze it in there, I think, you know, just because a notebook gets thicker as you're using it, it would not fit over time. Um, so definitely go for like a slightly looser cover um, or one that has a little bit more stretch. Mm -hmm. So like this one fits really well. Some of our A5 um, covers that are the canvas also fit really well. Um, and then I've tried to with the paper cover because I really like the MD paper cover as well, but that definitely does not fit yeah. um, this yeah. either. So yeah. All right. Are you ready to talk about your planner? Yes, I am. So let me bring it over quickly so you guys can see. So I'm going to start with the tiniest one. And if you all know me, I love tiny things. So obviously when this came out, I was pretty excited. This is uh, the Plotter M5. Um, it's called M5 because most ring binders come with six rings, but this has five rings. Oh, okay. Um, Is it because of the specific size or? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I use this kind of as like a daily jotter. Uh, obviously, we will get more into it, but I like this because I could kind of have it with me everywhere. I can kind of grab it, have it on the couch, have it in the bedroom, have it at the doctor's office. So this actually um, goes with me everywhere. And we'll, I'll get more into that. So I'm using that. And then as my main kind of planner journal, I call this my, this is the Traveler's Notebook regular size in black. And inside of here, I have a Traveler's Company monthly insert as like my main scheduler. I will show you guys inside. And then I have BK GU weekly, which I use as my uh, mini bullet journal and mini plan, mini journal. Mini, mini everything. Yeah, mini, mini everything for you. <laughs> and then because this is my mini, you know, my mini journal, I have my main journal. Um, this is a TSL original cover like yours. Mm -hmm. And inside of mine, I have actually a full size Stology A5. Mm -hmm. And then I have another TSL original cover in A6. And inside here uh, is also A6 Stology. And this I use mostly all for work, BK related work. It doesn't really have anything personal in it. Um, so that's kind of a brief overview. And then I'm gonna take you guys in with the other angle and show you a little bit more in detail. And if you guys did see this, this is just the Atelier's Penelope diary pouch. And usually when I come to the studio, I come about once a month. Uh, I usually carry just the necessity. So in here I have just pens. And then I'll probably bring my traveler's notebook and then my work two notebooks, just in case you guys are wondering what that was. All right. So, so this is yes. I'm excited. So you guys, this is how small it is. I think Wakako and Amo were super shocked when they saw this because it is really tiny. Like, it's really Even for tiny. you, this yeah, is very small. This is so tiny. Okay, so <laughs> if you open it up, 
what I have inside, it doesn't come with anything inside. So basically, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar, but it doesn't come with anything. And mine has this uh, ring protector that you can add. So it minimizes any kind of uh, significant wear and tear because a lot of them will show like the ring mm -hmm. impressions. And then the, when you turn it over, I have this uh, card holder. And right now inside of here, I just have a little card, one of our BK cards. It comes with the Gasha Pun, but I just love what it says. It says here now with you, so I keep it in here. I have a note from my husband. And then on oh, the other cute. side, I have a picture of my grandpa that I always keep with me. Um, but functionality-wise, I think I would use this because I've only had this for like a month. Okay. I would use this for... When I go to appointments and stuff, you know how you get like those cards from the doctor saying when you come back or if you go to a cool shop and then you pick up one of their business cards, you can just quickly, you know, stick it in here. Mm -hmm. And then the next section just has a lifter. It just kind of separates the sections. And then this section has like a little pen holder that you can stick your pen in. And then Wakako asked me about this earlier, so I shared. This plastic is also to divide the sections, but I made these myself using like recycled plastic clear files. I really love the Yohaku designs. So since I wasn't really using the file folders for the intended purpose, I thought it would be cool to use them, like, you know, cut them to size and then put them in here. Okay. So you do you have like a five hole puncher that you used for this? I or? do not. So what I do is <laughs> I will take like one of the papers mm -hmm. and like, you know, cut it to size and then I'll put the paper over the you know, this and then I'll mark them with little holes oh. and then i'll punch it i know so much effort right <laughs> but i mean it, it's worth it especially if you're going to be like really customizing it to suit your needs then it's nice that you have that option to be able to like add things and not be constrained by yeah it. and you only have to do it once with these so right. and it's qu fairly quick and the next section um so this is like i mentioned to you guys it's not really like a planner it's more like of a jotter Mm -hmm. where I write down quick thoughts or quick references. So this kind of just has a post-it on it that I wrote things down for today that mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that I did. And then, so since I got this after the uh, calendar inserts were available, I stamped some uh, monthly calendars, like month at a glance view. Mm -hmm. So this is using the Mizushima uh, the perpetual, perpetual yeah, yeah yeah that we have so it's it just perfect. has like the month i don't know if you guys could see because it's so tiny but i stamped like the month and then the perpetual calendar and then on the bottom it just has some birthdays yes. and, yeah so i just did for like three months because this this is not meant to be stuffed it's meant to just hold your your basic you know basic needs. Mm -hmm. so another uh, section, this is my what I call quick notes or little notes. And it's again, divided by this clear uh, plastic that I just recycled. Mm -hmm. This one just has really random notes. It could be like a book that Wakako or you or K or I don't know, somebody told us to, to check out, you know, mm -hmm. I'll just jot it down. Or if I'm watching, you know, something or listening to a podcast and something of interest just pops up, mm -hmm. I'll just write it down or something just that I have to do that I randomly thought of during the day, but I don't want to go and pull out my, you know, big planner. Right. And then if something needs to be transferred to a different uh, planner or different section, what I'll do is I'll call attention to it by putting like a big sticky note arrow. Right. So yeah, that's just little notes. Um, can you tell us a bit about the plotter paper? Um, because I feel like, you know, plotter is fairly recent and in terms of them releasing in the U.S. and mm -hmm. selling um, more to a U.S. audience. So I feel like a lot of people, including myself, are not as familiar with the plotter paper. Can you tell us a little bit about sure. that? Sure. So I think it's their, basically what I read up on it and also based on um, some of their live videos I watched. They actually have their own paper called DP paper. Mm -hmm. um, and I've tested several mediums on it, fountain pen, ball pen, gel. It works beautifully. But I think what I like most about this uh, system in terms of like layout is it's super minimal. Mm -hmm. So although they have these little guides, you can use it however you need to. Mm -hmm. yeah. But as far as the paper, it is their own proprietary paper that they uh, carry. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Mm -hmm. That's nice. 
Thank you. And it's, if I want to explain the texture, it's, I don't know, it's like crunchier. It's crunchy, like kind of like Tomo River paper, but it's more crunchy. It is very thin, which is very nice because since these, uh, since this planner, the rings are very small. Mm -hmm. It's 11 millimeters, I believe, and they purposely oh, okay. made it like that. So it's easy for you to write. You know, once once the rings get bigger, it makes it extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, because when I think about ring binders for mm -hmm. myself, I usually think about like the giant ones that I had in school, same, where they, like they would force you to get like you know those two inch ring binders or yeah, something. Yes. So when I first saw Potter and like you know saw these like very small rings, I was like, wow, I've never seen this before, and it like completely changes the feel of it like, does you know, like the profile. It gets yeah. really thin and small. It's so cute. Thank you. And then the next section, again, I made my own lifter. And this section, I use it to track my expenses. So Okay, so you're going to show us really in, in, in detail of what I you're am, <laughs> but you guys, there are some private things, you know? So I actually made a mock one to show you a sample. Oh. I can't reveal all my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> so this section uh, is for my expenses, and this is not household expenses. This is more personal expenses, whether it be... Well, obviously stationary and then uh oh we got some there we go okay yeah obviously stationary and some other personal related things so i use this is actually their to do list uh this is actually their to do list insert mm -hmm. but i kind of customize it so you can use you, you can basically use it for whatever you want you know so I have it here to where I write down how much it is, what I spent, mm -hmm. a description of what it is, mm -hmm. and then the balance. Mm -hmm. So like $10 at this place, and then I write the balance immediately. Mm -hmm. And I found that in doing so, it kind of keeps me in check. Mm -hmm. Like you think if you spent, oh, $20, $5, it's not that much here mm -hmm. and there. But actually, if you add it up, it's kind of shocking how right. much you, you're spending, right? So this really keeps me in check and kind of helps me to prioritize like, okay, well, do I really need this? You know, every month I'll do like a monthly review. And these red check marks are um, mean that it's something that I've ordered online mm -hmm. and that I've received it. Okay. Yeah. So that really helps me not to buy everything. <laughs> <laughs> and then this next section is also functional. Uh, so I cook a lot at home. Mm -hmm. And every week I meal plan before we grocery shop. Mm -hmm. And I found in doing that, it really helps uh, not only time-wise and being efficient with the time. Since mm -hmm. I do work from home, right after work, I have a little break and then I go straight into cooking. So I don't have time to like sit and ponder like, okay, well, what am I gonna cook today, right? Mm -hmm. So what I do is I use this and I have like a list of all the main dishes that I rotate between. Okay. So main dishes, mostly Korean food. Okay. So, oh, that's a really good idea. So so this isn't like, you know, what I'm eating this next week. This is almost like a menu of the exactly. options. Uh -huh. So I have mains, soups, like Korean side dishes, and so like regular sides. And then what I do is at the beginning of each week, I'll write like a list of seven things I'm going to cook, mm -hmm. right? Including the sides and soups. And then we'll go grocery shopping based on what I've planned. Mm -hmm. So there's no food waste. Right? It's so smart. I try. <laughs> and then this next section just has a little uh, recipe of something I found that I wanted to try. And then this last section is like a list section. It just has, and I'm sure this will change out mm -hmm. as, I, as I'm using this and kind of, you know, getting acquainted with it. Mm -hmm. um, these are just some things that I want to read, some books I want to read, some books that I already have at home that I need to read. And I think it would be pretty satisfying to be able to kind of check it off when I'm done. Mm -hmm. And then this is a uh, thinking about section, which means I'm thinking about that I might need this, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is like the opposite of the the finance trackers. Yes, but why I do this is because, again, this also keeps me in check because I found that if I try to buy things impulsively, mm -hmm. it's not good. Right. So if I want to buy something or I'm thinking about buying something, I'll write it down here, and then I will leave it in here for a week or more. Mm -hmm. If I still feel like i need it then i will consider getting it but a lot of the times i'll write stuff in here and then like a week or two later i'm like i don't need this okay right so this also keeps me in check that's okay. how i use that section 
it's just extra little papers. And then this section just has uh, post-its that I used. Cute. I just made this from a existing planner. I just cut the bottom. It's like an envelope. Mm -hmm. And then it just keeps oh. all the, it's so satisfying. It's right? very satisfying. So it just keeps the post-its and things from flying everywhere. Oh. And then you can quickly access it and then put it back where you don't have to open the rings. That's so nice. And then these little uh, things are called project managers from Plotter. And I think a lot of people use them for specific projects, mm -hmm. but I actually use it to archive uh, the front section. So like this one is called Little Notes. And I used a typewriter to type it out. It's really easy because these papers are very flexible. And then the, obviously the expense section. And then this is a general archive where I could probably archive the list that mm -hmm. I spoke about. But right now it just has two uh, fountain pen ink swatches that I that are inked right now at home. Mm -hmm. Some light colors, some dark colors. Put this back down. And then this just has two quotes that I penned with those fountain pen inks that I like to refer to when I just need a little extra encouragement for the mm -hmm. ink. And then lastly, we're getting almost to the end, you guys. This just has all my planners have this. If I lose this, I'm hoping somebody will return it. So it has like a, you know, if lost, please return with my phone number and email. And I just made this with the uh, classic -y address cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And this also has a pull up section where, you know, I could quickly access things in and out. Very nice. And then I have some postage stamps just in case, because you never know when you need to send somebody a letter. And then this. This is the last section, which is a, another lifter, but this has a band attached. So if you want to close it, you can keep it closed, like mm. if you're carrying it around so it won't fly everywhere. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to quickly move into my other planner because I feel like I spent a lot of time on that one. Well, that one, you had like a lot of things going on in that one yes. because that's like, you know, <laughs> the one that you're carrying with you all the it time. Does. So it makes sense. So here's Black Traveler's Notebook Regular. <laughs> how, wait, hold on. Yes. So before we get into this, yes. how old is this? You know what? Everybody always asks me, ask me how old my planners are because they think they look new. But you guys, I've had this for a long time. I don't know why my why my planners don't get aged like wakakos. I don't. I really don't understand. Like you bring these, you know, the products that I'm familiar with and seeing other customers uh -huh. bring in, and yours always look like. Spick and span and new. Well, look, it's shiny, so that means I've used it. I don't think so. I think, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. You know yeah. what, though? Like, I... if, if it looks perfect on camera, it's because it looks perfect in real no, life. No, you guys, look. There's some scratches in the back. I don't see them. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? To, no, to put jo all jokes aside, I do also think it has to do with the fact that I work at home. Mm. So I'm not bringing this to and from the studio all the time. This is mostly sitting at my desk. Um, okay, so inside, this also has a if lost, I have them in all because I want people to return it. Right. I have a craft folder, oh, picture of my husband. I have a craft folder and this just has like important documents I need, a postcard. Um, this has random scraps and this is actually from our friend Tabio. Oh, she okay. has like a paper lovers episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and so I like to support her in that way. And it's really nice because there's like random scraps of paper in here and you can, it fits exactly into your traveler's notebook and mm. then you can use it to journal. Cute. Yeah. And then this next section is my main, my main scheduler planner. It's where I keep uh, all my appointments. Sometimes I track my health. I even write down when I order my coffee beans. I literally write everything in here because well, obviously, for coffee beans, I like to see how frequently I need to reorder them. Mm -hmm. Just as simple as that. And if you're wondering why this cover is this color, it's just because I uh, covered it with craft. I just prefer like a more minimal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if I quickly go into what it looks like, it's very minimal. I know it's you guys. Very beautiful. The way you always have, the way you plan out things in any of your planners, how neat it is, and how you use like visual markers is like really really inspiring oh, so thank you so much so i know you guys are you like when i was uh, like on instagram i know you're used to seeing like it filled with stickers and stamps but since i haven't been on for like a while mm -hmm. um it's I, I think i definitely changed into being more functional 
Mm-hmm. So I just write exactly what I need. And obviously, there's sometimes when I do add stickers or stamps here and there, but it's more so very functional. And I just write down appointments, like I said, and any kind of medical related things. Um, yeah, and I really love this month at a glance. It really helps me to keep things organized for the whole month. Mm-hmm. And in addition to uh, forward planning. Okay. Yeah. And then this next one is uh, BKG Weekly. Mm-hmm. I actually started this in March, and you can see I stamped the date that I started it. And it's funny because I was talking to Wakako and I was telling her, like, oh, I don't think I could do, like, not dated, mm-hmm. you know, because I was overthinking it, mm-hmm. thinking, oh, my gosh, like, I'm not going to be able to fill in the dates. Like, mm-hmm. it's going to be too much work. But you know what, you guys, it's actually really um, therapeutic mm-hmm. having to fill in the dates. I'm currently using, like, rubber stamps, but I, I imagine that it wouldn't be hard to just fill in the dates. It would be right. fun. And then this is, real, like I mentioned, this is a bullet journal, but it's also a mini journal. So what that means is I write down something from the day. Okay. It could be anything, something that happened or something that I did. There's no rules. Um, this is pretty private, so I, a lot of things are covered up, but I, there are parts I could show you. So, again, very minimal, kind of, right? <laughs> so this write section over here, I always use for a to-do list, like mm-hmm. things I have to do this week, things I have to uh, get for our household, like toilet paper, toothpaste, you know, mm-hmm. basic necessities. And then this, these sections are where I write little memories from the day. Mm-hmm. And then this middle section, it could be for anything. Like, for example, I wrote like really random things like, oh, one of my favorite patterns is grid. Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't have to be anything super deep you know and it's then so cute, thank you and then going into this week i think i could show you a little bit more in terms of like what i write um and i only use ballpoint pen in here for now because i find that it's just easier uh, i can just quickly write and then close it mm-hmm. you know and the previous weeks i was using a tracker so i'll track anything i want Mm-hmm. There's no rules every week. So like sometimes I track quiet time, which is like spend that I, time that I spend with myself to do something like journaling, mm-hmm. or things like that. And I also have tracked exercise. And I think that really keeps me in check too. Like, you know, like filling in these little things is very like satisfying. Mm-hmm. Um, and then same. This week, this section is always the same. It's mini bullet journal, things I have to do. This is a little bit more memory, memory things. Mm-hmm. And... Um, I also write down if we have like if I have an appointment for mm-hmm. somebody's birthday or something, I'll leave an open circle, write what it is. Like for example, we had a team outing on Thursday. I'll write that mm-hmm. and then I'll highlight it. Okay. And that's with and then anything BK related that's scheduling, I add our clover stamp. And yeah, so that's how I use this. And I also like the ballpoint pen because I feel like it. You know, this paper is Tomoe paper, so mm-hmm. it really like. If you use ballpoint pen in here, it's almost like it's very tactile. Mm. I just love the sound, and I'm a very sound and, I guess, feeling kind of person. So I really like how it transforms kind of the paper and the planner using the ballpoint pen. Right. I like, um, you know, you, y'all probably can't see this in the camera, but um, when you use ballpoint pen um, on Tomoe River or even like any kind of like fine paper, like the indentation it leaves yes. is like really beautiful to Let me see. see. You can see on the other side. So yeah, it almost feels like braille, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where it's like, you know, it's not so much that it would like get in my way mm-hmm. if I was doing it, but just being able to see like that, I don't know, I guess that it has some dimension to it is like really fun to look yes, at. Yes, like texture. Right? Yes, yes, yes. So that's what I use this for and I have the zipper pocket in here, and I just have, like, stickers that I use. They're mostly dot stickers. Mm -hmm. I've been kind of crazy about dot stickers. (laughs) I'm sure you guys have noticed because when I wrap stuff for you guys, it always has some kind of dots on it. You have a lot of, like, really cute minimal stickers. Uh, Yeah. So that one. And then since that one is the mini journal, I do have a lot of feelings. (laughs) (laughs) So I like to expand upon them. And in this journal, I get a little bit more creative. Mm -hmm. So this is, again, you mentioned it, but just to tell you guys again, this is a TSL original cover. I have a full-size stylogy in here, and I actually started this in 2021. Oh, okay. And mostly in front of all my journals, I write, like, a quote. I guess that speaks to me. That's a nice, um, like, 
I don't know, like a way to break into a new notebook? Like how how are you going to fill that first page? Right, because it's kind of like, intimidating, yeah. right? Like yeah. nobody wants to fill in the first page, right? So, yeah. But it's kind of nice to be able to just do something very minimal. Mm -hmm. um, I can't show you guys in detail all the pages, but I did pick one. So like if I'm going to quickly flip through, like that's what it kind of looks like. So there are stickers and stamps in here, but it's um, not as much. Mm -hmm. Just that's not the main focus for me. So, like, okay, for example, this is uh, kind Cute. of like a overview of what I usually do. And this is not a fake entry. It's a real entry, but <laughs> it's um, more something that I could share with you guys. So we did have our very first Dodger game team outing. And so I journaled about that. And this is kind of like what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do use a little bit more texture. You know how, like, the other journal was very minimal right i'll use more stamps and stickers and be a little bit more creative with the way out and i like to use fountain pen in here mm -hmm. and i think some people were asking um or wondering why i went from journaling in the the traveler's notebook into this and it's because uh, i am trying to minimize like all the stuff i have in my house mm -hmm. and i realized that the traveler's notebook enters i go through them so fast mm -hmm. meaning yeah. like the regular journaling ones and i feel like this one I can have just one notebook with, I don't know when I'm going to finish it because I don't write in it every day. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I can have like oh, my whole collection of memories in it. So nice. Thank you. And then lastly, I have the A6 with Vistology. I love these covers because, you know, that's a pretty thick notebook, but it fits very well. Mm -hmm. There's no like, you feel forceful, you know? Right. This is uh, for work and there's no like, rules in this mm -hmm. right so i will have uh let me see i don't mind showing you guys this but like quickly flipping through i have tasks i need to do like notes from the team i always like save them they send me things like new items that i have to photograph and things like that so i keep all the notes ones from a couple of marine um and i'm going to show you guys on the page let's So like this week, um, I just write the date and then tasks that I need to get done. And then I'll just check them off as I go along. And sometimes I'll, there'll just be open space. And one week I was here at the studio in a mill and I just like, oh, we're yeah. testing fountain pens on it. <laughs> so this one, there's no rules. Um, it's just like a jotter for work, but I find that it works out because some weeks I have a ton of stuff to do and some weeks I don't have as much stuff to do. So I like that the pages are open. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I need two pages. Sometimes I just need one page, sometimes half a page. So. Mm -hmm. I feel like that works out really well for me. You have um, both a mixture of like, um, like open form, like, you know, just either blank space or grid, or you have like the GU, which has, you know, some lines as like a foundation for your tracking. Mm -hmm. Like, do you in your head, like have a, I guess, like a system of like, this is how I like, you know, this is my formula for doing it. Or are you just kind of like, going along as you fill it in? So definitely for my GU, I do have, like I shared with you, I have the section on the right side, mm -hmm. which is <laughs> which is definitely for, this is very, it's the same every week. Mm -hmm. This middle section is varies. Mm -hmm. Memory keeping section varies, mm -hmm. you know, so yes and no. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I don't put any rules on myself anymore. It's just basically like, who? it's for me, right? Right. So it's whatever I want to do in it. And I think that's very comforting. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is my whole planner setup. I'm really impressed with like how consistent your handwriting is in like each of the notebooks, because I feel like for me, there's like a big difference in, you know, the ones where I am filling it in like really, really quickly, mm -hmm. or if I am kind of, you know, going back and forth um, between notebooks, like the um, the neatness of my handwriting is correspondent to, for one thing, who's going to see it, but also how much time I have. So seeing like all of your notebooks where you're like, this is where I just do my quick notes and it looks like just as perfect handwriting. That's that, I know, I, I'm not just saying this, but I honestly felt like that about your notebooks. I think when other people perceive it or when we're perceiving it ourselves, like, oh, we think it's like really messy or like it doesn't look good enough. Mm -hmm. But I think when other people see it, it's like, that's how I saw yours. Mm -hmm. Like when you were saying, oh, this month isn't cute. I was like, actually it is cute. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So I think we're just a little hard on ourselves. 
I guess that's true. Yeah. Um, so we are actually like a little bit over in time, but we since we did have um, you know some technical issues that we were working with, we're we're just gonna kind of keep going a little bit so that you know we can get through your questions for Eunice, um, or if y'all have any like you know closing questions before um, we wrap up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's go into questions for Eunice. Hi, Kay. So she. They, she or he asked, um, the plotter is the same size as the Philofax Mini. No, it's not. Um, the plotter is actually even smaller. And it's funny that you asked because I actually was looking into the Philofax Mini inserts. Uh, they don't fit. So if you do want them to fit, you need to trim them down. So it's not the same size, it's actually smaller. This is tiny, I'm not exaggerating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so it's not the same. So cute. Thank you. Hi, you guys, I still look back at your Instagram post for inspiration, but I agree I'm finding myself having a more minimal planner setup. Yes, um, I definitely miss looking back. When I look back at my old planners, I'm like, oh my gosh, it was so fun. Like when I used to put like a ton of stickers and stamps and I actually still love looking at people's planners who still do that. Mm -hmm. But I just feel like, I don't know, maybe it's after I turned 40. <laughs> Am I allowed to share that? It's um, too late. No take backsies. Actually, after I turned 21, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm just using it more functionally. Mm -hmm. And since I'm not posting it, um, I just use it however I want and just strictly based on me while still having fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Social media can like really um put a lot of expectation on mm -hmm. you that like kind of defeats the purpose of something like journaling or drawing right, or something right. like that Definitely. so you know understanding that about yourself and then making decisions based on that is is really important i yeah. think yeah and joe asks histology 365 the same size as the codex so i think the size is the same yes in terms of the actual like, size yeah but it's definitely thinner like yeah. if you look at our planners. The codex is way thicker, and I think it also has to do with the paper. The Stology paper is almost comparable, and in terms of thickness, like the thinness is almost the same as like Tomo or whatever, right? Wouldn't mm -hmm. you agree? Yeah, it has yeah. a very like thin and smooth feeling yes. to it. So it's the same size this way, but not in thickness. Mm -hmm. Both fit really nicely. Though. Yes. Yeah, so so if you guys look, it's such a different mm -hmm. thickness of a notebook, but it still fits. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Twins. <laughs> <laughs> I saw some stamps. What's your favorite ink for every day? So I used to also like do a lot of color, colored inks, mm -hmm. but lately if you look inside, it's mostly black. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I find that the less I have to think about it, the more time I have to reflect upon my thoughts and what I want to get out. Right. But the black ink is still there where I could just stamp it. Mm -hmm. I do still use a lot of the Soria Mama inks, mm -hmm. the little ones that you can stick on your fingers. Mm -hmm. I use that a lot for like gift wrapping, letter writing, and also sometimes in my journal. Mm. Yeah. Like especially like, you know, the more open one where you're doing like the memories and stuff mm -hmm, and decorating. Mm -hmm. So favorite ink for every day, I would definitely say are the Soria Mama ink pads because they are so tiny, but very opaque. Um, and they take up less space, so you can have a more variety. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for your question. And then the next question is from Super Creamers. Hi. It says, hi, Eunice and Emil. So lovely to see your faces. Do you think that you can show us how you cover your traveler notebook inserts with craft paper? I am like you and prefer a minimal cover. Thank you. So actually, it's not really covered. It's actually <laughs> replaced, I guess is, is a better word. Surgery. Surgery. So let me take it out real quick. So if you if you guys see this, it's um this cover or this planner is actually strung bound. So all you need to do is take the cover off and then you just put the craft cover over it. Mm. And then you can just staple it. So just to clarify, so for the TN notebooks, like the insert itself is with string, but the cover is not attached to it in the same way, or it, it is? is covered. So you probably have to cut it. Okay. Yeah. 
or it, even if you, I hate to say this word, but if you tear it off, mm -hmm. it, it works out. So like, I mean, you, like if this was the original cover, you just need to like, snip it and then pull mm -hmm. it off. Yeah. Or you can keep the cover and use like a very thin craft paper to just cover it if that seems like too much for you. Yeah, I've like, done that before with the um, with the planner covers. Yeah. yeah, thanks for your question. Yeah, and then let's see, do we want to do one more or how are we feeling? One more question, one more last question. <laughs> it's so nice hearing from everybody. I know. Getting to, to talk Thank to Thank you everybody. for tuning in with us. <laughs> okay, so Madden uh, Way, I think that's how you put what yeah. pens do you use? Emil, do you want to quickly go over any okay. pens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I have my fountain pens. So right now I have like the four function, I have the uniball, and then fountain pen wise, I have the um, Sailor um, Maygetsu. Mm -hmm, that's such um, a pretty one. It's, it's really nice. Um, this is medium fine. Um, I have the uh, platinum 3776. Um, I have like the dark red one, which is really beautiful. Um, this one is, I think, extra fine. So not the extra, extra fine mm -hmm. that they have, um, but that is Still already fine. very, very yeah, fine. Yeah. Um, and then this one's actually probably my favorite and maybe the oldest. Yeah, of these, this is the oldest one I have. So this is the Coleco um, in the Macchiato. That's such a you color. I like this color a lot. It's so really pretty. cute. Um, how about you? What are you using? So, very quickly, I am actually for uh, planning, like I mentioned, I'm using mostly ballpoint pens. I just like the ease and um, how quickly you could just close your planner after you're done. Mm -hmm. So, the Stology Four Functions pen, I'm sure you guys know this by now because I like use it in every video. <laughs> and then, this is a called a Lamy 2000. Mm -hmm. um, why I like this ballpoint pen is because I don't know if you guys can see, but each section has different colors. And how you change the colors, you there's no knob. All you need to do is change it towards you. And then if you click it towards you on which color you want, it changes the color of the ink. Oh, it's a that's very, very interesting, interesting system. Yeah. yeah. So when I want to write things down quickly, I use this. Okay. And then I also use uh, mild liners a lot. And I also have fountain pens, but I didn't bring them to me. But I, but I do use the same as a Mills, the Platinum 3776. I usually always have like a Lamy inked up um, for when I want to do something quickly mm -hmm. and various sailor pens. Okay. Pens. Yeah. All right. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Like I'm, I've had a lot of fun. Me too. Talking. It went by fast. It did go by yeah. fast, yeah. Um, but it, I don't know. It's just so nice to be able to like, talk like really freely and openly and more casually um, because we do do the YouTube videos, mm -hmm. but um, I don't know, this has like a different feeling to yeah. it. Um, I hope you, our personalities kind of showed more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so thank you guys so much for joining us at Analog Dialogue today. I hope you had a wonderful time. So until next time, I hope you enjoy writing. Bye. Bye.